This time we're supposed to find the limit with x going to negative infinity. But the way how we're supposed to solve this problem is exactly the same like for the limit which has x going to the positive infinity. So what we're supposed to do? We're supposed to look at the denominator. In the denominator my polynomial has the variable with the highest exponent x squared. That's why I have to divide numerator and denominator by x squared. And I'm going to have limit x goes to negative infinity and simply divide 6x over x squared minus x squared over x squared. And I have 3x squared over x squared minus x over x squared. Let's reduce these fractions and we're going to have limit x goes to negative infinity. 6x over x squared is 6 over x minus 1 over 3 minus 1 over x. Numerator is constant, has constant, 6 is constant, and x is going to negative infinity. So this fraction is going to approach 0. 1 divided by x, x is approaching negative infinity, that's why this fraction approach also 0. And let's take a look what we're going to have. Negative 1 over 3, because 0 minus 1 is negative 1, 3 minus 0 gives me 3. Negative divided by invisible positive is negative 1 third. This is the solution to my problem. Let's take a look at this example. Again, we have limit with x going to negative infinity. You have to look always at the denominator. And my polynomial in the denominator has x with power 1, invisible 1. So what we're supposed to do, we're supposed to divide the polynomial from the numerator by x and the polynomial from the denominator also by x. Simply write limit x is going to negative infinity and we have x to the fifth over x plus 2x over x minus 3 over x. And I have 5 over x minus x over x. Now we're supposed to reduce the fractions. We have limit x is going to negative infinity and I have x to the fifth over x is x to the fourth plus 2x over x is 2 minus 3 over x over 5 over x minus 1. x is going to the negative infinity, but trace to the even power, in this case 4, is going to go to the positive infinity. This fraction, I have 3 in the numerator, this is constant, divided by negative infinity. In this case, it doesn't matter if you will divide constant by positive infinity or negative infinity. You will simply approach 0. In this case, we have the same story. 5 divided by x, where x is going to negative infinity. Okay, so this fraction is going to also approach 0. And let's take a look what we'll get. Infinity plus 2 gives me infinity. Minus 0 is still infinity. So that's why I have infinity divided by 0 minus 1 is negative 1. 
positive, invisible positive divided by negative is equal negative and infinity divided by 1 is simply infinity. So this is the solution to my problem.